This is episode 0021 of Gary's Glorious Golden Nuggets, and today we have Joaquin Santos. Joaquin has a very interesting history. His parents immigrated from Spain to Venezuela. He grew up, he became a graphic designer, and then as the country became unstable, he decided to immigrate back to Spain because he still had citizenship as a Spanish citizen. In time, he discovered a love of cooking. He became a chef. He worked in London, Amsterdam, and in Germany is where he eventually ended up. He is a well-respected chef who has decided to leave the life of cooking to become an online entrepreneur, and he works in the area of affiliate marketing. So I wish to welcome you here today, Joaquin, to Gary's Glorious Golden Nuggets. Thank you, Gary. Happy to be here with you. I'm glad that you are here today. Joaquin, what is the one thing you wish you had known before you began your journey as an online digital entrepreneur? Well, that was possible to start this journey without have previous knowledge about it. I was thinking about it already for some time to really left the cooking things because my family I had no time for my family at all. But uh, there was a stopping me that I think there was, I would thought that was too complicated, too much to learn. And, and I didn't have the right knowledge for that. What is completely not true is, is very simple to start if you have the decision to do it. That's really a truth in life, isn't it? The toughest part is just deciding to do anything. Exactly. The first step is always the more, the most difficult one. And when you have too long doing the same thing is, is quite scary to, to change. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's stepping into that dark room with no light and having to wait until you can see your next step is oftentimes the most exactly. difficult part of the journey. But patience proves yeah. to be a virtue in time. Definitely. So I, I don't really like to use the word failure, but I, I use it in this question. And that is, what has been your biggest failure in your journey? And what did you learn from it? Failure. Let's see. The Actually, it was that. There was the thing that was too late and took me too long to take the decision. That was the, what I can tell you was my failure. Because I didn't enjoy all my life as a chef really much and give me big moments. But... I was already for one year since my second kid born. The, I was not enjoying it anymore because I didn't have any time with that. I think my failure was that to don't, didn't decide it before to take the step. And what I learned from that is that I could become a more positive person and more happy and enjoy any single moment with my kids right now. I'm not scared anymore to what I have in front of me. I can. I am still cooking, you know, I do some consultings to some restaurants and I, I cook at home, of course. And so I'm enjoying my life much more now than that I did it before. So this is what I learned from that failure, actually. Well, the biggest failure is choosing not to choose. Exactly. That was exactly what it was. So yeah. Just be, don't get out of my comfort zone. That was my big failure. I think a lot of people, we get into this corporate rat race. And we're kind of used to the fact that a certain block of your life is gone every day. And that block begins to expand. That's gone every day. You can't be there for your family. You can't be there for your friends. You can't be there for what's really important in life because that block of your life is gone. And when you enter into this digital entrepreneurial world, you suddenly discover so much time freedom. I want to go and take a day off. There's no boss for me to ask other than me. Okay. And if my work is all in a line, I can take time off. If my children have a play today at school and it's at an odd time, I can still go <laughs> and be a dad, you know, and that's the greatest joy in life for me with being a dad. Definitely. Definitely. I, this is, this is what's, what I was thinking also, you know, before when I was a chef, I was a single person or, or, or Maybe if I have a girlfriend, was a waiter. So I, I was involved in the restaurant without any problem and consumed my life there happy. <laughs> but as soon as you have different responsibilities and you want to, to give an example to your kids, the was killing myself in front of them it was not exactly the, the big example that I wanted to give for them. Yeah, yeah. What advice would you give to somebody who is kind of like listening to the show today and they say, well, I've been on that fence thinking about being a digital entrepreneur 
or I'd been on that fence thinking about leaving my full-time employment and to delve into my digital work. What advice would you give them today? First, I will say to really look what you want in life and how you call it that your profession or whatever you do is not telling you who you really are. You are a person the the meaning of life is, is to be happy and to fulfill yourself. So if you trust yourself and you believe that you can change that, just make an action plan and follow it. You will find a way to really feel better with yourself and to, to give the necessary steps to, to find what you want. And in digital entrepreneur give you the freedom, how you say, to manage your time, but also that you can live whatever you want. Nowadays we live in, a, in, in, you can live in a beach, you can live in the mountain, you can really put your life around your job, not your job gonna dictate where you want to live or where you have to live. If you are tired of cities, how I was, I live now in the middle of a village close to a lake. And it's for me, this is much more nicer than, than live in the middle of a city with hunks all the time and traffic jams and this or that. So believe yourself, trust yourself, make an action plan and follow. You will really find where you want. It's interesting how you have laid that all out because you've just been dropping golden nuggets all along the way, but you basically covered time, geographic and financial freedom. Exactly. In, this in is, your answer. Yeah. This Good. is happiness as to what I see it. You know, if this is what you are looking for, it's the way to find it. Absolutely. Beautiful. So what have been the best resources you've come across? to help you in this journey as a digital entrepreneur? I would say the, the community where I'm part of, okay? I was looking in internet for a really long time how I can start this path without even know what I have to do or which direction I would take. So I found a, a huge community of people with the same type of problems, questions, and, and doubts that I had. And together we support each other and you see how people is successful is, is going to take success of their life, take the control of their life. And so all of this gives you trench and a way to follow. And, and this is actually what makes the big difference for me, because it's, it's not just about the uh, receive a video and you see it and, and then you copy paste what is, it's not like that. It's just talking to real people like you, we, you, we are talking right now. You have webinars with people in, all over the world. And this helping you to realize that you are not the only one who are looking for this. It's actually most, more people that you really believe are joining this worldwide movement of people coming to the internet to have a living. You know? So I would say that the community is what helped me and give me the strength to, to continue and to, to persist until you get it. I think the worst case scenario in the digital world, Joaquin, is the person who has the idea that they are a solo entrepreneur, that they are all by themselves. They've created a website, they have an email address, and they think they can hide behind it. This is a real business and businesses make a stand they live or die on the relationships they create with their customers. And this concept of having a community in a digital world, I think is one of the greatest gifts because you can meet with people who are extremely successful and they will generously give up their time, their knowledge, their expertise, because they want you to be as equally successful as they are. And in the brick and mortar world, nobody does that. That's true. That's true. Because you feel grateful that you found this path. So help somebody else is, is giving you fulfillment. The, the helping people to realize that they can do it also. That you don't really need to have amazing skills or whatever. You just need to believe in yourself and keep on moving and giving one step, another step another step and you will arrive to the place you want to be because this is just about to be more happy and fulfilled it's not about to be a millionaire or whatever there's some people arrive to that place it's, it's completely possible but not all of us are moving by 
just by money. It's, it's time, freedom, relationship with people, health, all together. Joaquin, I use the word people in this question, but I don't really mean people. It can be authors, it can be books, it can be videos, it can be anything. But what were the three people or sources that have influenced you and helped you the most on this journey, being an online entrepreneur? Well, I will start, to be honest, too much before the being an entrepreneur, because what helped me to, to be here and to be what I am is, is also part of it. So I will start with my parents as a one person because they teach me how to be grateful in life, to, to be happy with what you have and what you are. And also to say thank you and to say please. And this gives me positive mind and it's part of what I'm doing in right now. Without being grateful for what I have, I could not be even feeling fulfilled right now. So I would say two of them are as one person because there was a big team. They make a very big team. So this was the first one. As a second person to influence me and it's a big part of what I am right now, it's not actually a good influence, but it's part of my life also, was the ex-president of Venezuela, Chavez. Because I think he was the worst disaster that can happen to my country. And to actually to hold South America, he make a narco state and he start with all of these unfair things that is happening. I'm not going to go inside that. But because that, I decided to move out of Venezuela. Because that, I'm already 20 years moving around Europe. And this make me the person who I am right now. As a third person, I will say my kids, actually. Because they give me the strength, the power to keep on moving and motivate me to learn every day to to don't stop, for example, they, they was the strength that I needed to, to move out of there beside of the doctors that told me that you need to go out of there, but was my kids to give me really the final push to come on, come to enjoy with us and stop killing yourself. I think children are God's way to make sure we have good teachers in our life. Definitely. Yeah. We should listen more to our kids. <laughs> yeah, they absolutely. Have, they have pure feelings still. Excellent. I, I really liked your answer there. What would you say is the most common myth about being an online entrepreneur that you would like to smash right now? Well, I would say the, how I said before, the people think that it's too complicated to start. If you are too old already to start on this, you don't have the right skills or knowledge or that and that is like that nowadays is plenty of information we are living in the information age so you have everything what you need online just you need to trust yourself you need to to find the path that you really want and you don't know it yet but you will realize that when you can go in internet and you can check Different communities don't need to be the same community I am, definitely not. But there is plenty of information that can open your eyes and show you that this is the future. It's not just because the pandemic, that everyone work from computers on home or whatever. This is the future. The, the time to change our time for money is, is going to end. And we can help that if we really move ourselves to that way. So being a digital entrepreneur give you that. So it's time to do it. Nobody going to come to save you. So you just go and do it by yourself. You just expressed very much what my experience has been being a digital entrepreneur. I had all the doubts that I was able to do it, that I had the knowledge or I could understand how to do it. You have to apply due diligence to make sure that you're not being taken down some scam because there are tons of them online. A lot of people who are just predators finding that group of people that will be there for you, to help you, to assist you, to guide you. And then recognizing the fact that this is the future. It's not too late to get in. 
In fact, it probably won't be too late to get in for another 50 years, the way this thing is growing. So if you're interested, jump in. And if I could just jump in and give a piece of advice, just do it today. Don't sit yeah. back on the fence thinking and hemming and hawing. Anything worth doing is worth doing poorly in the beginning. Yes, it's, the first step is always, how I said before, the more complicated, but don't need to be difficult ones. You can just start to investigate is the first step and to open your eyes and realize that it's possible for anyone to start to have a better life in internet. And like life. When you go to school, lots of people change their career path in schooling. They say, oh, I don't really want to do business. I, I'd rather be doing education or something along those lines. Same thing with the entrepreneurial aspects of this digital universe. A lot of people come in and say, oh, I want to have a store and sell physical products. And they don't like that. Doesn't mean that's the end of it because there are hundreds of things that you can go down this path once you start and you will begin to understand what does make you happy. What is your passion? What is your desire? And you've just debunked so much. <laughs> I really like it. I asked for one thing. We got a lot of stuff out of that. So if you were me yeah. or you being me, let's put it that way. And you're thinking like, I wish Gary would ask me this question. What question would that be? To be honest, you ask a very good question. So that you put me difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's say the, what, why I moved to entrepreneur if I was already a, a successful head chef. Okay. Answer that. And it's uh, health problems actually, because. How I said before, being a head chef and everyone know that and more in a busy, famous restaurant, whatever part in the world it is, I was in Munich, but it's whatever part in the world like that. You have a lot of pressure. You need to, and you need to pass most of your life inside the kitchen. You need to handle people and handle their egos. Okay. I was, I had around 20 chefs on the need of me. So there was too much egos to handle there too much problems to handle there. So you need to be there all the time under a lot of pressure. And I was completely stressed, full of stress. I started to suffer panic attacks, which I didn't recognize them. I was just punishing myself thinking that I was getting weak. That how is possible that I cannot handle this? If I'm being a chef for more than 20 years, how is possible that now you cannot handle a service? I was getting angry with everything. So one day in the middle of service, I collapsed. Then the manager of the restaurant need to call the ambulance. I was shaking and I couldn't stay stand, stand still. I need to, I almost felt in the floor, the ambulance came and my, my, my heart was very fast. I was having high blood pressure, big time. And actually this was what took me out of the kitchen, but it was the wake me up. I was almost leaving my kids with our father just to fight in, to make money for somebody else because it was not my restaurant. So, and this was what helped me to decide that I don't want to work for nobody else and risk my life, my happiness, my health, leaving my kids probably without a father, just, just for a job. It, it sounds stupid to me, you know, in that moment, I couldn't see it. But right now I say, wow, thank God that I had that because this wake me up. I think that the truth of the matter is a lot of people listening to this podcast can really relate to what you just spoke about. And if they are triggered, if they are intrigued, if they would like to get in touch with you, what would be the best way for them to do that? Well, I have a website for my business. So there is a section where you can put your questions or your email or whatever and contact me and I will ha happily answer to that. So the website is joaquindigitalbusiness.com. That in the show notes folks, so that you will be able to get it exactly. I always have this vision of people crashing 
I'm trying to write a note in a car while they're listening to a podcast or something. But no, we'll have it in the show notes for you, as we always do. I give everybody two minutes uninterrupted, Joaquin, to tell them whatever's on their heart. This is your two minutes. Begins now. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I will. I would love to really wake up and inspire people to to change their life, to to follow the path that will make you happy. The, this life is not about a job. It's not about money either. You know, we need money to live, not live for money. That is a big difference. So look for your happiness. Look for whatever it is that move you. That is not the job. Is what you need to follow. You will find a path in internet, definitely. So if it's not internet, it's another thing. You can find it also, but I recommend you to give it a try. Go to internet, look for different paths that you can start today and change your life for a better future for you, for your family, more health and be happy <laughs> that's it i say enough and it's not i don't need two minutes to that it's just please go and take your best life that is there waiting for you that's right their best life is waiting for them thank you so much joaquin really appreciate your nuggets of wisdom today ladies and gentlemen that's going to conclude this episode of gary's glorious golden nuggets we really appreciate you being here to listen to us today Please subscribe if you haven't already to this podcast. Share it with somebody you think might really appreciate the information that was here. We will pick you up on the next podcast. Thank you.